thinking, oh, a lot of wheelies going on there, but they've all stayed on the bikes this time. But a bit over enthusiastic on the throttle and clutches there. Number like 61, Julian Hughes there on the Suzuki that is in second place. But is that Brooksy that leads away? I reckon it is. They're all bunching up. A few rookies in amongst this uh, group of 1,000cc bikes. So we're on for some great racing. Here we go, down the back straight. Down to Ed Wieners. That's the chicane that was put into the circuit to slow riders down. Oh, number five, he's adopted a new riding style. I think it must come from motocross. That's uh, Adam Sheriff. You'll get arrested if you do that again, mate. And here they come, 21. Phil Brooks is in second place at the moment. Is that Gary Beardsley, 188, in the, in the lead? I think it could well be as the sun beats down on the number plates at the front of these bikes, making them very shiny and difficult to read. Into the bus stop they go, the famous bus stop here at Mallory Park. 61 back there in third, that's Julian Hughes. And 144 chasing him, and that's uh, Michael Elliott on a Kawasaki Z ZXR 10R. So good bite, these Kawasaki's really beginning to develop now. We've got a good scrap here for the front. Phil Brooks in second. It is 88, 188, I should say. Just about see that one on the side of that. So it is Gary Beardsley and Phil Brooks, the Yamaha versus the Kawasaki. And that's the ZX 10R again that leads this race round. Looks like 61, yeah, it is. Julian who's hanging on to that third. Who is that back there in fourth? Well, just flips the number. It could be 16. Paul Green, that would be. Not sure what he's on, to be perfectly honest. Um, it is 16, Paul Green. Nice-looking bike. I suspect that's a Suzuki, judging by the colour scheme. So, this is the battle for first and second. This is the battle for third between those two, the 16 biker Paul Green hanging on to that fourth place at the moment. He wants third, he wants the bronze medal as they head round the top corner. One of the longest, fastest corners in row racing circuits here in the UK, that is. Down the back straight, into Ed Wieners. Oh, a bit of Rossi. And we're chained to the front. 21's gone through, Phil Brooks has found a way through. Coming out of Gerrards, and now they head down towards Shores again. This is a very late breaking part of the circuit. Chance to make an overtake here. We've seen a lot of people do it and get it wrong from time to time. Here we go. That's the Yamaha that leads it then. From the Kawasaki in second, into the bus stop, out of the bus stop. And Phil Brooks posting the fastest lap so far of 54.028, 92.61 miles per hour. That's pretty quick around here. Oh, we've got a good old dust-up going on here. Led by number five at the moment, Adam Sheriff. Well, that's the man with his foot down. Motocross style. Here's the race leader. Phil Brooks, boy, has he put some power down onto the back wheel of that bike. Each time we come back here to Mallory Park, you're going to see uh, little changes around the circuit going on. They're making extra spectator areas, and it really is a, a lovely circuit here. So Paul Green, 16, still chasing down Julian Hughes on the 61 bike. This is for third place, and little scraps going on all around the circuit at the moment. And here's another one. Oh, somebody's gone down. Yes, indeed. Number seven just avoids him. That's Andrew Fenton, and that was uh, 59. That's Andy Carpenter that's just hit the deck. Come on, Andy. You'll get it right for race two. Here we go. Last lap flag has gone out as our race leader, Phil Brooks, passes a slower back marker. And Phil on his way to pick up a clear win here. And he was tipped by James to be the man at the front, and he's certainly uh, proved that. Into Shores, nice and cautiously heading up towards the bus stop. May take a quick look over his shoulder, he may not. Out of the bus stop, here he comes. Next thing he'll see will be the chequered flag, and the points are in the bag for him. Race two here on the Sunday, and he knows it. Second place, it should be Gary Beardsley on the 188 bike, who led at the early part of the race, but uh, he was. Brooks, I should say, soon put pay to that. Brooksy Beardsley, and there is Julian Hughes, who held on to that third with Robin Hooker, who took fourth from Paul Green, who finished fifth, and Chris Matthews propping up the top five in six.
So welcome back here to Mallory Park. It's Hot Tracks Motorsports. Let's go down to the grid with James. So the Michelin Power Cup 600s, this is a single tyre series race. All these guys running on Michelins. Anthony Gorgeous parked there on fourth position on the grid. Peter Dilts number 85 here, a third place on the grid. Then we start moving. Grant Wagstaff had a bit of an off at Brant Hatch, but this time round, he's a guns are blazing, let me tell you. Then we move to Danny Inberg, number 17. This guy has been pretty unsurmountable so far. Thank you, James. Well, there he is, Mr. Inberg. Two race wins at uh, Brands Hatch when we were down there at the first round. Uh, Mr. Inberg really has it wound up at the moment. Right, the green flag goes up. The man at the front now knows that everything is ready to go. Red flag goes up. Lights are going to go on and out, and we're going to get this Michelin Power Cup 600 race underway. Here they come. Everybody's cleanly away. Down to the first corner. Who's going to make that round? Has Inberg already got the jump on the rest? Danny Inberg in a class of his own at the moment, I can say. Here they come, down the back straight towards Ed Wieners. 75 it was that led, but didn't lead for long. Inberg's gone straight through there, so that was Tony Parks, who had that brief moment at the front. Number 85 there, that's Peter Dilks. Dilks, he had a couple of good results down there at Brands in the first round. Oh, a couple of crashes. Number eight, Jamal Mahmood, and I think that's 134, Jeremy Ketchell on the Kawasaki. Well, they're a little bit winded, but I'm sure they'll pick them up and uh, wheel them away. I think there's two, maybe even three bikes involved in that. Inberg leads it. No surprise, number 17. He's on the Kawasaki ZXR 600, which you'd expect in a 600 class. I'm just looking down to see if there's any triumphs lurking around here. Yes, indeed, there is. There's one in the shape of 47, William White. Inberg on a mission, and the mission certainly is to win the race. 77 there in second place, chasing him down. Grant Wagstaff, 85 there, Peter Dilks in that little group as well. So I can assure you that second, third and fourth are certainly not decided as yet. And here comes Dilksy, shaking the bike. I'm not quite sure what he's going to do with it. Seems to be uh, perhaps trying to take up more track than uh, anybody else. Stop getting past him. Second, third, 75 in third. Anthony Parks at the moment. Anthony Park going through 69 there in that group as well. So that's another good race for him at the moment. Sean Moore on the Yamaha R6. 42 in amongst that group. Richard Carlton, another Yamaha R6. So quite a few yams out there. Popular bike with the racers, these. Nice bike to ride, very responsive. Here's the uh, race leader, Danny Inberg. Well... He was tipped to be the front runner here this weekend, and he certainly proved us right in every respect. Anybody that didn't tip him as being the front runner would have been losing their money, I think. Emberg leads it. Big question now is who can finish second and third and get on those three steps of the podium. Here comes Danny. Looking very much the number one man at the moment. He's got this circuit sorted out. Out of Devil's Elbow he goes as the rest of the crew come chasing through 42 Richard Charlton there chasing down that group with the rest right on his heel that looks like a triumph for me just going through there with that single exhaust out the back last lap flag goes out Danny Inberg knows he's got this in the bag as long as he keeps it rubber side down doesn't make any mistakes this looks like second place at 77 second at the moment Grant Wagstaff that's uh, 2.56 there. That's uh, Simon Baisley. Just going a lap down on the race leader, Danny Inberg. In and out of the bus stop he comes. Here he is. Any moment now, there's a lot of them in front of him. And things could all go dreadfully wrong in the last corner if he's not too cautious. Here he heads towards the chequered flag. Just about squeezing past without taking our cameraman and the man with the flag with him. So there you go. Danny Inberg settles that argument over who's going to win this race. He says it's me. Yeah, and confirmed at the top there with Peter Dilks in second, Tony Park in third, Richard Charlton there in fourth, and Adrian Allsop fifth, and propping up the top five, Mark Dilks down there in sixth. Well, they're enjoying themselves. I hope that's just orange juice in that bottle, sir.